Hi, thanks. Following up tonight on a News 5 special report we first brought you last week. National security is a top priority in this country. The budget for military spending tops $500 billion a year. And there are also expectations of responsibility here. Colorado Springs based Air Force Space Command invited News 5 on a road trip to the East Coast to see their remote operations. Yeah, Bill Folsom joining us here on the late edition of News 5 at town with a look at the extended reach of our local Air Force bases. Bill. Yeah, we're talking about the 50th Space Wing at Schriever connecting to space through a station in New Hampshire. The 21st Space Wing at Peterson is monitoring air and space from a half dozen locations, including Cape Cod. That's where we went key national security missions where they also work to preserve and protect money and natural resources. Radar so powerful it puts shakes in the video recording. The Cape Cod Air Station monitors the Atlantic, part of a network of strategic locations sending key national security information to command in Colorado Springs. The primary mission of this radar is to detect and track incoming ballistic missile threats to the North American continent. The mission here is so important. You know, we're constantly surveilling the skies, surveilling space. So our requirements through STRATCOM is essentially that we be on 100% of the time. A shutdown here is not an option. There's a series of locomotive generators ready to fire up if necessary. A visual cue to how much energy it takes to push radar waves 3,000 nautical miles out into the atmosphere. The power bill here at one time was in excess of a million and a half dollars every year. We are one of the largest energy consumers on Cape Cod. So we use about 1.4 megawatts uh, instantaneously on the radar, and that's 24-7. Calling it tax dollars well spent on national security could be justified. Instead, clean energy wind turbines now constantly offset energy costs, courtesy of the strong wind coming off the Atlantic. Uh, our two wind turbines are about 1.68 megawatts when they're full production. So it's reduced our energy bill annually by over a million dollars. The base has um, about 70 archaeological sites, a couple of plane wrecks. If not for the massive satellite antennas, the new Boston Air Station in New Hampshire could be mistaken for a nature preserve. The mission here is connecting Space Command to 185 U.S. controlled satellites, some as far away as 22,000 miles in space. Our ability to defend ourselves as a nation has become uh, dependent on, um, on space. Any one of these eight facilities worldwide is in contact with every single satellite that the United States has in space. The current mission points up. Previously, it was air to ground. The pond was the main target. During World War II and into the Korean War, this was a practice bombing site. Repurposing for satellite communication required reclamation and restoration. In this case, rubble from 14 years of bombing, including UXOs, and stands for unexploded ordnance. We probably found approximately 50 tons of UXO-related scrap and over 100 live items. 26 were 100-pound bombs. The restoration protects several endangered species living on this land and preserves the history before the bombing. One of the New England farmers here was part of the Underground Railroad, helping slaves escape to safety. There's so much important data that has gone through this place that you and I will never know about, but it's historically significant. Space Command taking a broader approach to the definition protection. So our mission is very, very important for communications to keep Americans safe. This does require investment. The wind turbines, for example, had a price tag of $8 million. That gets paid back with that $1 million a year savings. Rob? Good stuff, Bill Folsom. Thank you, sir.